right where we're sitting. Because this photo was taken right where we're sitting. Yeah, notice at least four changes. One, two, three. Me would be four. There were two big, beautiful redwood trees right here. There were also two big, beautiful redwood trees everywhere else. So what happened? Let me show you the old train, then I'll tell you what happened, all right? Here comes the old train. There's the old train. Yeah, we took out the bar car that afternoon, yeah. No more Captain Morgan for lunch, okay? Yeah. This was Confusion Hill engine number one. This was the original engine. It lasted us 40 years, from 1955 to Iraq. I mean, to the uh, windstorm in 1995. During that windstorm, we lost 137 trees. One of the trees landing on the train, killing it, which actually is a good thing, but we won't go there. Where we will go, why would you lose 137 trees in a storm? That's a lot of trees. Because two years prior to the windstorm, in 1993, the previous owners, catch that? Previous owners? Yeah. Cut down all the giant rubber trees. Notice all the stumps and sunshine. It was a virgin forest up here in 1993. If you would have came here in 1992 or before, you almost need a flashlight up here any time of day. I know, I used to drive the train back then. This used to be a great train ride, it really was. It was short, it was eight to 12 minutes. I didn't say a single word. Great train ride. Now it's a 20, 30, 40, if I derail three or four day train ride. <laughs> And I talk all bloody day, and it's good at best. So what happened? What happened was some kids inherited the property when their parents passed on. And kids being the way kids are most of the time, they saw a great big giant dollar sign. They put on the market, tried to sell it. Nobody bought it. They got in touch with a local logger, a guy by the name of Bruce Willis. Not the actor, the logger Bruce Willis. That's why the log truck said Willis Enterprises. They got in touch with Bruce Willis, made him one heck of a deal. Said, you cut down the big trees for us, give us the money, of course. We'll give you the train, the gravity house, the property, and the two houses. And that's what happened. The kids walked away with a little bit of money. The logger got the property. Logger being a logger knew exactly what was going to happen. If you cut down all the giant trees, the wind's going to come eventually. It took two years. 1995, the wind came. Blew down that 137 trees. 137 trees, a whole lot more trees than they were allowed to cut down. There are laws. Took the logger and his two sons a year and a half to clean up all the mess and mill up all 137 trees. Logger made close to five times as much money as the kids got. And then he sold it, right? Five years later, the year 2000, for close to a half a million dollars more. Pretty nice neighborhood for the logger. Now everybody blames the logger, though. The logger does what? Wow. He logged. Yeah, he cut down a tree. You know what? The tree is cut down. Don't give it to the logger. <laughs> you got to blame the kids for being crazy enough to give it to the logger. So this is my own two cents worth. I have five kids. I don't own nothing, unfortunately. If I did own anything, I wouldn't leave a will. Mm. Look what happened. George's husband left a will. The kids cut down all the trees. You got kids like mine? Spend the money before you go, preferably on ink. Or leave a living trust. Have it say something like you live here in paradise forever. Or walk away with nothing. It goes to SPCA or something. This is a crazy thing to do. See, we literally had a train going through a forest. And they cut down the forest. I ain't so bright, I know that. Even I wouldn't have done that. What a crazy thing to do. So spend that money quick. You don't know how much time you got. Avoid our snack bar. <laughs> but spend that money quick. Yeah. Now this poor guy on the right, he's been waiting to drive this train for 28 years. I'm hoping he's going to have to wait a little bit longer, okay? Yeah.